Let's take a look at ordering large numbers. Now in this first example we can see that we've got a four digit number, another four digit number, four digits, three digits, four digits, four digits. So hopefully you're aware that a three digit number will always have a lower value than a four digit number. So 956 is the smallest number of all of these numbers here. Now the other numbers all begin with a one. So at the moment, just from that first column, we can't tell which is largest, which is smallest. So we need to look at the next column. So we've got a one, zero, one, zero, zero. Now zero is less than one. So we need to be comparing the ones that begin with one, zero. Now, since they all begin with one, zero, let's look at the third column. We've got a nine, a zero, and a nine. Or well, zero is less than nine. So this must be the next smallest number. So we're now comparing 1095 and 1090, both begin with 109. So we need to look at the final digit, which is a five and a zero. Zero is less than five. So 1090 is the next smallest number. 1095 is the next smallest after that. So we're now left with the two numbers that begin with 11, 1159 and 1136. So let's look at the number after the two one ones. We've got a five, we've got a three, Three is less than five, so it's going to go one, one, three, six, one, one, five, nine. Let's look at the next example, um, starting with the largest. Now they're all four digits long and they all begin with a six. So let's have a look at the number after the six, eight, seven, nine, eight, eight, nine. Now of six, sevens and nines, nine is the largest. So we need to be comparing six, nine, oh, three and six, nine, two, one. Both begin with six, nine. So what's the next number after the six, nine? Well, we've got a zero and a two. And since two is larger than zero, that means six, nine, two, one is the largest. And six, nine, zero, three is the next largest. So now we're looking at the six, eight numbers. In fact, there's three, six, eight numbers and the one, six, seven number. So six, seven, nine, six is obviously the smallest. So I'll stick that one at the end. So the six, eight, six, eight, six, eight. Let's look at the number after the six, eight. We've got a five, a zero and a seven. Seven is bigger than zero and five. So it's going to go six, eight, seven, four. And five is larger than zero. So six, eight, five, two is larger than six, eight, zero, one, which is larger than six, seven, nine, six. And we're done. With negative numbers, what I would do is first of all, put them in order starting with the smallest as if they were positive numbers. So let's look at these as 67, 47, 18, 3, 56. So the smallest is three, next smallest is 18, next smallest is 47, next smallest is 56, and the next smallest is 62. So going from um, smallest to largest as positive numbers, it goes 3, 18, 47, 56, 62. So therefore, if they're negative numbers, it's the opposite way around. So it's the, the smallest is gonna be minus 62, the next smallest is gonna be minus 56, then minus 47, then minus 18, then minus three. So put them in order as if they were positive numbers and then reverse that order for negative. So here we want the largest number first. So again, let's just pretend these are positive numbers. 105, 169, 132, 211 and 79. Let's put them in order. 79 and then what comes next? 105, 132, 169, 211. So if we're putting them in order starting with the largest, we would put them in this order here, 211, 169, 132, 105, 79. So if these, if this is the order for positive numbers, then the order for the negative numbers is gonna be the opposite way around, which is what it was when we, um, before we reversed it the first time around. So therefore the largest positive number is minus 79, followed by minus 105, minus 132, minus 169, and then minus one, two, two, one, one, which is the smallest. So largest to smallest. 